welcome back to accounting we will now start our lesson on chapter 10 which is inventory uh, this is a very lengthy chapter it contains lots of slides we will break it up into four or five videos it's a new concept that you're going to be learning about uh, uh, inventory is brand new to you at this point it is one of the most important assets that a business owns so we will go up uh, uh, on the uh, we will discuss all the details and the accounting uh, accounting of inventory in this uh, uh, in this chapter so the agenda for this chapter is as you can see we will look at the merchandise business we will look at what is inventory uh, some of the definitions two aspects of inventory uh, periodic systems the inventory cycle um, inventory on balance sheet and the income statement which are the two most important statements that we've been working on uh, accounting procedures with inventory uh, and sales returns and you know sometimes people uh, return items so we will look at the accounting procedures for sales returns uh, purchase returns and some of the discounts and terms of sale so I know all of this is probably brand new terminology to you so we'll go uh, over all these items one by one Please listen carefully, take some notes, understand them, review your PowerPoint notes uh, as you go through this. So what is the merchandising business? The merchandising business basically is that kind of a business that buys actual products and then sells them at a profit. So all retail, all he wholesale businesses that are buying products and then selling those products to you are called merchandise businesses all these products or goods that they're buying are basically inventory for them yeah. so that inventory becomes the item that they own for a short period of time and then they resell it at a profit so if you were in the business of selling furniture furniture would be your inventory if you were in a business of selling computers computers would be your inventory if you were in the business of selling uh, phone accessories all the phone accessories that you would purchase would be your inventory however if you were in the business of selling furniture your phone would not be your inventory okay? your computers would not be your inventory because those are items that you have that you own as assets that help you uh, that help you uh, uh, get revenue they are not your inventory. Inventory is any item that you buy with the intention of selling at a profit because that is your business. So some of the examples of inventory, convenience store. For a convenience store, you can see candies, drinks, small food items would be considered inventory. For large department stores such as the Bay, clothes, shoes, cosmetics would be considered inventory. Uh, two aspects of inventory which we need to really, and really understand a business purchases inventory with the intention of buying uh, and selling with the intention of selling the inventory at a profit however not all of the inventory is sold in a given amount of time uh, at a profit so there are two aspects of inventory at any given point of time especially when the year ends at any given point of time especially when the year ends you will have items or goods that have been sold during the year and you will also have items or goods that have not been sold during the year you can see that these two aspects of inventory are graphically pictured here those items that are sold <coughs> those items that are sold are uh, become part of your income statement because they are considered cost of goods sold it is an expense any item that is sold from inventory moves from your assets to expense very similar to your adjusting entries with prepaids so these are your assets that move to your expense because they are sold. If an item is not sold, it stays on the balance sheet as inventory. If an item is not sold, it stays on the balance sheet as inventory. 
So before we move on to the accounting procedures for inventory, I would like to highlight a few terms about inventory. In the balance sheet of merchandising and manufacturing businesses, so there are different types of businesses. We talked about merchandising. Manufacturing business is that kind of a business that produces and makes products. So in the balance sheet of merchandising and manufacturing businesses, inventory is a very significant asset. And it is a short-term asset. It is not a long-term asset because your intention is to buy and sell. Inventory are those items that are ready for sale. They can be classified as raw materials, such as lumber for furniture, work in progress, which means that certain items that are not really finished, but they are, uh, they are in, on their way to be finished, and then there are finished goods. In the income statement, inventory is vital in determining the results of operations for a particular period. So we need to really understand inventory, how that comes about in, in the uh, income statement. Income statement, as you know it, has revenue and expenses. And revenue minus expenses are considered net income or loss. Now we're going to introduce you to another term in inventory called gross profit. So revenue minus cost of goods sold. Revenue minus cost of goods sold is going to be considered gross profit. And then gross profit minus expenses will be considered net income or loss. Okay. So this has now been expanded in this chapter. The income statement will be expanding to include the gross profit. So revenue minus, gro uh, minus cost of goods sold will be gross profit. And gross profit minus, net, uh, minus expenses will be considered net income or loss. So what we will do here is I've introduced you to the concept of inventory. I've introduced you to the various types of inventory uh, just so you have an understanding of manufacturing and uh, retail businesses. And we've talked about the two aspects of inventory, which is goods that are sold and goods that have not been sold. And so you know where the, these items are classified, either in the income statement or on the balance sheet. We will stop this lesson here today and we'll continue with the next, next aspect of inventory tomorrow. Uh, so uh, please do follow that as you learn inventory. And remember, as always, ARTW, accounting rules the world.